Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. I'm Jesse Milestone, and this is Meant to Offend. So if you're offended, good. Today I want to discuss a problem, a plague, mind you, that has been affecting our society now for several years, and that plague is veganism. Um, we can pretty much all agree that vegans suck. If you don't agree with that statement, you're probably a vegan. Or if not, you're probably one of those people that pretends to have a gluten intolerance. Yeah, the kind of people that makes peop that makes actual people with celiacs die because uh, restaurants and other places that handle food get so desensitized to the idea of gluten sensitivity that they're no longer worried about trace amount of gluten in their gluten in their food. And then people with actual actual celiac disease eat that food and they die because that's a real that's not a gluten intolerance. That's like that's like that's beyond intolerance levels. So go fuck yourselves. Uh, but I digress. Uh, uh, you people are almost as bad as vegan vegans. Come on, vegans. Okay, now I've I've met one or two vegans that that don't suck, uh, but the vast majority of them do. Uh, the ones that want to tell you about their veganism definitely suck. Cause guess what? You can eat what you want over there. Once I know about it, like I just don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. Like, like. You can go to a restaurant as a vegan and, and be like, I don't want this or I want this thing. Like, you don't have to advertise. You don't have to fucking broadcast it, all right? If you identify yourself as a vegan, then you probably should be eaten. Um, that's, that's my solution. I think we should eat more vegans because then the vegan problem will go away and then this healthy eating problem and like the meat issue in our country will also go away. What's everybody obsessed with, right? All natural, grass-fed, healthy, hormone-free foods. Well, vegans... Man, nothing is more all natural than a vegan, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. Okay, sneeze averted. Um, nope, yep, sneeze averted. Okay, nothing is more nutritious than vegan meat. I mean, think about it, right? All natural, like no added g crap in their body. I mean, yeah, okay, it's gonna be ridiculously lean meat and you're probably not gonna get as much as you want uh, off of their body as as you could but hey I mean come to California there's a surplus of them just kill more like just if we eat all the vegans now also we're eating vegans right um, which are like all free range and whatnot so there's no like farm overhead you just go out and shoot one and then eat it um, so now we don't have to worry about like feeding in to the overprocessed meat industry in this country and like the ridiculously inhumane meat industry because I mean nobody wants to see a cute little cow get slaughtered in terror and fear and have all those fear hormones hormones released into their body and go into your meat right but like no one really we don't really care how vegans feel do we like we don't so like let's stop lying to ourselves let's let's do that right and um let's take this one step further and think about the societal implications for us right if um if you are what you eat then vegans are plants and so if i eat a vegan i'm i'm not actually eating meat at that point i'm, I'm eating vegetables because the vegan is just made of vegetables so you are what you eat, vegans eat plants, eating vegans is the same as eating plants. So it's really, really healthy for me, like on all fronts. Just probably don't eat their brains because prion diseases. If you know what prion diseases are, it's when you eat too many brains, uh, especially even more so brains of your own species, and you get holes in your brains. That's called encephalopathy. It's a great word. Um, encephalopathy. Holes in your brains. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Even better word. Mad cow disease. Mad cow disease comes from cows that are eating shit that they're not supposed to eat. Then they get mad cow disease and we eat them when we get mad cow disease. How do you avoid getting mad cow disease? Duh! Eat! vegans. So really there's no downside to this. And I mean, look, you could probably trick vegans into flying over to like, uh, nations that have famine and food shortages because vegans are also probably people who think that they need to help more people. Um, even though they usually don't, but I bet if you offered them a free trip to go help people, they'd probably get off their lazy asses and, and go do that. And then when they get there, you can kill them and feed them to the impoverished people who can then have delicious and healthy, nutritious food for them. Um, so I really, I really don't see any drawbacks to this. Like, I guess we need a new brand of sympathy. Even that's a win, right? Hallmark wins because you get a new brand of sympathy card for like, I'm sorry we ate your vegan daughter. Um, and, uh, and then the parents, like, they cry a little bit. They're sad. And then they're like, man, but you know what? Like, maybe, maybe Tabitha is dead and that's a tragedy. But at least now we don't have to live with a vegan in our family. So uh, once again, everyone ends up happy. And uh, that's my brilliant idea for you. Um, 
Uh, let me know what you think. I got a comment section that's, that's for all of your un unanimous support of this. Uh, and obviously, if you don't support this, you're a vegan and your words don't matter here. So uh, chew on that one. Also, guys, I'm on Patreon now, which is this crazy thing where you guys can throw money at me to help support my yelling habit. For as little as a dollar a month, you can become part of my online exclusive Patreon community where you get like really weird, fun stuff from me and stuff that other people don't get to see. And it's awesome. So there's a link in the description. Please check that out and consider uh, joining me in my quest to say whatever the fuck I want. And that's all. I will talk to you all again soon.